Okay guys, so it looks like my little kit idea is actually going to work. At least one of them is. Um, so I emptied out the project bag. Um, I still have to put the scrap fabric away. But I also found a yarn needle in there. And I grabbed this out of the, the bag. And then there's the chapstick that we had. So it is going to go in its little lunchbox tote in the project bag. And then this bag can be emptied into it. It's also got to be kind of dismantled because I originally was going to do a knitting project with this blue yarn, teal yarn. Um, and I did not. You can see I made a granny square. There's an upcoming video about that. And then I also made some granny triangles. There is also, no, that one's not upcoming. That one's already been posted. Um, but these uh, granny squares are upcoming. So got to take the knitting needles out. And then I can get rid of this bag that I keep putting my projects in when I have pretty project bags that I should be using. All right, guys bag is empty. I'm being good. It has served me well, but I have other bags that look nicer and I deserve it. So our project bag is now, um, it's actually housing two projects <laughs> right now. Um, and I'm going to show you guys these on the podcast actually tomorrow, um, cause the project itself won't be done, but I can show you this as my works in progress. Um, I need to make two more of the granny squares and hopefully I have enough of this yarn. If not, I'm going to end up frogging this um, to make sure that I can finish that because I can do something different with this one, but I'm so close on that one that I want to continue with it. So that can go on our second shelf now. So I just tossed this fabric in here because it actually came out of here. Um, and realize that I now have space for my hands. I should maybe try to clean them. That's paint. <laughs> um, I should probably try to clean them. But now I have space up here for these hands. Yeah, that's good. So we have one more shelf. Those are lunch boxes down there. I'm trying to think of what they are. Let's pull them out and see. I know that I have some camera equipment. Oh, looks like I have yarn too. Um, so I'm not sure if there's camera equipment in there or just on top of there. Okay, guys, I'm just trying to empty this pretty quickly. So I have one, two, and three of those. I guess we'll call them all tripods. Um, there's the mic that I was talking about, so that there for right now. That goes with my sewing stuff, which we're going to go through sewing stuff next. So you'll see these things again. That's a needle. A pair of scissors, which I'm not even going to put with the sewing stuff because look what we have right next to us. Where my scissors go. Uh... Let's get the hair stuff out. This is sewing stuff. And then I really need to cut my nails. <laughs> this is a nail kit. So I'm going to take all this stuff to the bathroom. Okay. We're getting to the end. We have some yarn scraps. It's hard to tell. This is a whole, yeah. So we'll put the entire skein 
over here because it is Karen Simply Soft just like that is. And we will put these where they belong. This is a hat idea, so let's just stick it on the top. Trash from this morning's snack. I am digging out these. If you remember, I have a sticky drawer. <laughs> and looky there, that's a stapler, so we're just gonna stick that there. Haha, uh -huh, stick. Um, kitty cat wants to help us. No, thank you, kitty cat. Uh, we're gonna go through our pens. So it, even though this isn't a pen, we're gonna stick that with it. And these buttons, I'll put them actually where they belong. Oh my goodness, look at you, aren't you adorable? He's a good girl. No, mommy's a good girl. Let me just help you. You didn't have to get out. I just didn't want you to fall off. So this bag is empty. It can go back on the banister. Yo, I got so excited about being able to get to this cart that uh, I still haven't touched the bottom of this cart. So let's see. I have some more granny squares. Only makes sense to stick them in with the other granny squares, right? Oh my goodness, they do fit. And then I have yarn scraps. Oh, um, apparently I have a, what are they called? That's not an SD card, that is a thumb drive. USB drive. Um, and these are scraps that I completely forgot about. Good thing I have more yarn to put away. So let me dig that SD card out. See what's at the bottom? I'm sorry, I'm just checking, checking all that out. Yeah. Okay. We have a charger cable. God only knows what that's to. Yeah. I'm fun. This is for a camera. Like I said, there's there's camera equipment down here. Like that's my DSLR in there. And I really need to figure out whether it's got a pixel out or not and whether that's going to bother me or not. So yeah, that's my DSLR. This is the DSLR. I like Canons. Um, and then this is my point and shoot. This is the charger for the DSLR. This is the charger for the point and shoot. And I have extra batteries, and that's an actual D, D, uh, SD card. Um, so, you know what, let's put this in there, because we know that's supposed to be there. Um, maybe we'll do a test with that tomorrow. See if the audio is any better without an external mic. Because the actual standing tripod that I have, why are you crying? Huh? Um, fits both of those fine. So that's good. Ouch. We have a visitor on my lap with their tail in my face. So I'm, you know, thinking through things in my head. I think these cameras should go in front of or behind the uh, ball winder. I'm not sure which I'll be using more, 
uh, hopefully the cameras. Um, so that would be in front and I mean, you saw it's real easy to, to move around. So I think that's where that'll go. Okay, so that just leaves our lunch boxes. Like I said, I don't know if there's camera equipment in here or what. So Holly Hobby was mine. Can't see my name on it anymore because the tape has come off. Oh, actually, yeah, you can. Carrie. Alrighty then, so this is a bunch of random shit. Good to know. That should go with Christmas. Do you think 605 is the <laughs> is the code? Let's see. Ah. It is. have a bunch of keys that you don't know WETF to do with them because I actually can show you well I can't see it from here but that right there that is a baby bottle full of keys random keys some of them I do know what they went to originally, like old cars that I owned uh, or that my parents owned and stuff like that. Um, others, I have no freaking clue. Like, they used to be on my keychain and I literally, uh, I mean, my mom has moved out of state, but I went to both of my parents' house and I tried those keys in various locks to see what was what. Um, some of them I did identify, others, no freaking clue. Um, so apparently I have more keys to put in there if they'll fit. So let's see what's in Strawberry Shortcake. So Strawberry Shortcake was actually my sister's. Okay, so I know what this is. This is the R in Carrie. My dad made these for my, me and my sister um, when we were little. This is a cedar block. Uh, I do have the C-A-R-I-E. Um, yeah, funny enough, in another lunchbox downstairs. So this will get in the bin to go downstairs. Um, these, I don't know if you guys have seen the desk. In uh, my living room, these are the original pools for it. I actually like the pools that I replaced it with, but um, might be time to put these back on to go with the original look. So this is actually good. Very good because I think that bottom shelf, like these, these fit very well in there. So I think I'm going to... Put my circular knitting needles in here. I don't think the long ones would fit, but haha, I might get to use one of those bags anyway. The long ones should fit this way, and I can stick them in that bag so they don't, you know, get lost. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. All right, y'all, strawberries empty. And these are the majority of my knitting, knitting, yeah, knitting needles. These are, what are these called? DPNs, which are too long. So I get to put them in with my straights, which I'm gonna use this bag. I do have the one that I just pulled out of my project bag. Um, and then these also came out of the project bag. So I have circular knitting needles 
in two different sizes. I think I have a 11 inch and then I think this is this is like a 30 inch. It'll be written somewhere. Um, I don't know if I want to separate them or not. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> this is the five millimeter, so I should probably put that in this bag. Yeah, so I think if they'll fit, I'm just going to put them all in. We'll see. Yeah. She says as she hasn't actually tried. So yeah, those are the longer ones. And then these are 11 inches. You can see it was nice. They came with a needle too. I got those off of Amazon. There was much more in the shorter set. Okay, so as you can see, I have these straights. Not sure. Oh, man, guys. <laughs> this bag is not long enough for this needle. Let's see if it is for... Okay, so these are Tunisian crochet hooks. The ones with the hook... It looks like a knitting needle, but it has a hook on the end. Um, this is just a straight knitting needle. Okay, so those longer needles will not fit, but these, I'm going to call them standard size needles, will. So I'm just going to have to put these not in a container in the bottom. And they're big enough that I shouldn't have to worry about them falling through. But as you can see, these straight needles will fit. Just looking to see if I have anything out of place. I tried to take a class a while ago and they wanted circular needles and I went with the cheapest thing I could get. Um, this was years ago. I actually bought these in store. I think they're kn Knitology. And I bought them because they look pretty. What aren't they pretty? Um, this plastic tubing, as you can see, came off of one of them. It broke off the other one. So I don't, and I had three of them. Um, just for giggles, in case I need the size, I'll keep this one. So this one broke. And so did this one. So even though they're pretty, they're... It's not going to... Well, maybe it'll focus. They're not really pointy either, so it was really difficult to use them, which probably contributed to me hating knitting for a good long time. So I think I can part with these and I'm going to keep the one that I already put in there. Mm, how timely, because Valentine's Day is coming up. This is a cup cozy. It does not belong in there. And it doesn't look like I made an error on it. No, I didn't. Sometimes I'll screw up the snaps. Um, so this will go with the stock that I have made. The sparklies. A knit counter. That might be handy to have. You got one stray. And then 
two more strays. Oh, <laughs> there is the other end. Told you guys they broke. It's really pretty, but yeah, I need to trash it. This, like, I'll have to go through these, I'll have to go through these um, needles to make sure there are really great lip. <laughs> I'll get this vlogging down one day. So yeah, I, I need to actually go through the needles and make sure that I have two of each size. But these, these are ready to go in the bottom.